Sunbeak Group is investing 25% of its capital towards green investment in an effort to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Sunbeak Group uh, Chief Executive Joshua Oigara says the group is also committing 1% of its earnings towards social, economic and environmental projects. The last two years have seen a big shift globally in investments in green. Kenya is accessing up to 90 billion shillings in green financing, an indication of Kenya's commitment towards combating climate change. Companies and businesses are also working towards achieving a net zero emissions by 2050 by investing heavily in green energy. We want to see companies bring out as much disclosure, as much information as possible because investors are now becoming more designing. They are asking for a lot more information. They want to understand how our companies are future proofed. And we believe that um, our commitment then is to ensure that whatever we finance, we want to become net zero, the contribution to 2050 by the bank. So all our facilities through screening, through accommodation, through training and through investment, those four pillars will make us then scale towards sustainable businesses as a bank. While unveiling Stanbic Group's Sustainability Report 2022, which highlights, among others, financial inclusion, job creation and enterprise development, climate change, infrastructure, education and health as key focus areas. Stanbic Group CEO Joshua Oigara Father says 1% of its earning is going towards financing this sustainability projects. Uh, we are today saying more than more than 25 percent of our investment in terms of capital must go into greening investments and and all those areas whether it's energy whether it's education infrastructure financial inclusions job creation and enterprise development uh, we have issued an nsc um, disclosure guidelines to the public and we've seen over or close to 30 companies have done integrated reporting and 11 have done sustainability reporting. Stanbic is also targeting to finance 1 million women entrepreneurs annually and 5 million women over the medium term. If you think about the many businesses, that is more than today 50% of all entrepreneurs that we have in our market. The level of gender parity at the senior management and board has declined year on year. To address the imbalance, the bank has rolled out a leadership program. National Treasury Program Coordinator Peter Ohengo noted that with the support of the International Monetary Fund, Treasury has mobilized more than 350 billion shillings for various green initiatives. Wherimo Jenga for Easy Friday.